12 p.m. Medius had woken up from his slumber. He went down the stairs to have a late breakfast. Waffles. He then noticed Chloe drawing the Toy Story characters again, but this time with the characters the park made as animatronics. What you drawing this time, sis? He asked. Just the characters I saw this morning, Chloe replied, finishing the colors on Wheezy. Um, may I see? Mattias replied. Chloe brandished the final sketch of uh, uh, Mattias and the Toy Story characters together, with Jesse hugging her. That's pretty cute, he replied. Chloe giggled, her eye brown eyes meeting with his green eyes. So, you ready to go back again tonight? Mattias asked gently. Chloe nodded, immediately accepting. That's great, he responded. He went back up the stairs to pack his gear. 5.30 p.m. Mattias was ready to leave. Chloe, have you packed your things? He called out. Yes, I have, Chloe called back. She came in with a bag of her Toy Story toys to sleep with and a Toy Story sleeping bag. Mattias forced a smirk, awkwardly, examining his sister's things. 6 or 5 p.m. The siblings had made it to Disney World via bus. Just then, Chloe noticed Jonna's car nearby. I think Jonna followed us, she said, pointing to the car. She did, Mattia said, baffled. What is she doing? Jonna was inspecting the animatronics, noticing some pie cream noticeably on Woody's hat and Buzz's buttons. She then heard the door opening, revealing the Robin siblings. Mattias? Chloe? What are you doing here? Mattias shrugged. Just, uh, my fav five day job for this week. My sister wanted to go there for a long time, so I bought her reluctantly. Have you hired any babysitters? Jonna asked. Well, there aren't much babysitters in my town, and my parents just left for vacation, Mattias then said. Jonna snickered. <laughs> Protective big bro, I presume. Chloe waved to the animatronics, whom Jesse waved back, Buzz saluted, and Woody tipped his hat. Chloe giggled, seeing the characters greet them in different ways. Okay, Chloe, we need to stay in the office. Let's go, Mattias said sternly. But Mattias, the toys are friendly. They're not dangerous, she pleaded. Mattias rolled his eyes in exasperation. Fine, Jonna can watch you anyway. He then went to the office to watch the cameras, turning on the fourth audio cassette. As Mattias relaxed in the chair, he carefully listened to the phone man, but something wasn't quite right. Hello? Is it recording? Oh, uh, hey pal. Ah, you made it to night four. Three in a row! <laughs> uh, I may not talk to you after this. I... I've been having a bad night. Uh... But nonetheless, I'm glad I managed to preserve these recordings for you. I just need to find a good person who can keep up with the checks. I promise it won't bother you waiting that long. <laughs> uh, honestly, I always wondered whatever was in behind those suits in the uh, scrap shed. You know... Oh, shit! The recording ended with a screech, then some muffled static. Mattias was disturbed greatly by this. He had to step outside for relaxation, before noticing Jonna staring at some drawings on the wall. She looked at an old drawing, albeit crude, of a girl holding a Jessie doll in a sunny meadow. The child reminded her of herself. Um, what you looking at? Mattias asked. Oh, me? I, uh, I'm just reminiscing my childhood, she answered. I used to have many Toy Story toys when I was little. Really? Mattias asked rhetorically. I did too. But I passed them all down to Chloe. Jonna looked at Mattias with her river blue eyes before he looked back with his forest green eyes before they smiled at each other, sharing the same childhood. Well, aren't you supposed to be guarding the restaurant? <laughs> uh, she jerked smokingly. Uh, yeah. 
Um, <laughs> Maddie has chuckled. I need to look after Chloe, okay? Shauna nodded with a warm smile as the dirty blonde teenager rushed back to the office. In the office, he opened the cardboard box of toys Chloe packed. He found a woody doll, which he used to have, but later passed down to Chloe. Then, a Buzz Lightyear action figure he also passed down. Then, there was the Mr. Potato Head toy, Slinky Dog, Jesse and Bullseye. He was touched by his childhood memories. He shed a tear in his eye. Suddenly, he heard Jana calling out to Chloe. Chloe, don't touch that! Mattias was worried immediately. He dropped the Woody doll and hurried out of the office, seeing Chloe about to touch one of Buzz Lightyear's buttons. Chloe, no! It might be hazardous! He shouted, but it was too late. Chloe had touched one of Buzz's buttons. A sparky shockwave knocked her back to the ground. Chloe! Mattias and Jada shouted. Are you okay, sweetie? Jana said, choking up. Chloe's vision was blurry, and her hearing was slightly muffled, but she recovered quickly. Oh, God. I told you to stay in the office with me, Mattias said, panning. For the rest of the night, Mattias took Chloe to the office to keep her company after her injury. He was panicking the entire time as he looked back at her and looking at the cameras back and forth. When the shift was finished, Jana was still in disbelief about what happened. I... I don't know what to say, she stuttered. It's okay. She's only too young to understand, Mattias replied, holding her hand. Okay? Okay? Your sister almost died, and you didn't ask me anything she could touch and could not touch? Jonas said, about to tear up before sighing. You can do anything you want, but if you bring her back, I swear to God, I will beat you up. Mattias's eyes widened by her harsh words. But who will look after her at home? He asked. Jonas stared at him before finally whispering, I have no idea. Leave it to a friend of yours, or another family member. He then walked away, getting into a car. Mattias hung his head down, before Chloe looked up to him. Hey, it's not your fault. None of this was, she said kindly. Mattias slipped away, not bothering to make eye contact with his sister. <sighs> Jana was right. I should have hired a babysitter, he sighed. The siblings had finally caught a bus on the way home before Mattias trudged up the stairs and, and managed to catch some sleep as Chloe unpacked her toys from the cardboard box.